It doesn't matter if you're a car guy or gal, if you love cars, you're a car guy. And this is Car Crazy Central, shouting the passion that 30 million of us who are car guys across the United States and tens of millions more around the world share in common, no matter what kind of cars we love. Oh, join us as we focus on this emotion of being car crazy. Welcome to Car Crazy Central, ground zero for monitoring the major events and personalities of the car hobby around the world. Each week, we creatively serve up a full menu of car crazy passion for you to enjoy via our car crazy television and radio shows, as well as on demand through our website, carcrazycentral.com. Our mission is pure and simple. <laughs> oh, that's right. We want to make you just a little more. There's 2,000 companies that are exhibiting here at the show this year. Of those 2,000, there are 500 that are here for the very first time. Yeah, it's really amazing to see. We're now selling a car every minute on eBay Motors. A and car a, a minute? Okay. A car a minute. And the reason we're here at SEMA really is to talk to the folks selling parts and accessories. And we sell a part or accessory every second now on eBay Motors. Every, every second. second. How it's would you like minute. to be in a case? and have Bobby Unser came to be the expert witness against you. <laughs> I don't think I like that. I don't think he I knows like too much. The yeah. judge, can you see the judge? Yeah. Really? And now your host, Barry McGuire. Today, we're center stage at the 40th annual SEMA show, the largest car guy trade show in the world, held every year at the Las Vegas Convention Center. You have to experience the SEMA show to fully appreciate how huge it really is and how hugely important it is for all of us who are watching for the hottest and latest automotive styles, trends, and technologies for car guys globally. Over 100,000 industry leaders from over 100 countries spend four days attempting to cover the more than 2 million square feet of amazing displays of never-seen-before cars that will set the trends for the future. And at the front of the action is our Car Crazy stage, where we host SEMA television every year, which airs on plasma screens throughout the convention center and is piped into 70,000 hotel rooms every night. <laughs> People have a hard time getting away from me. After interviewing over 100 personalities over the four days, we can definitely say that every one of them was undeniably, certifiably. Crazy! Here with Mitch Williams, the chairman of SEMA. One busy guy. I can't believe yes. we've got you for a couple of minutes here. you got to be feeling great about what's going it's on. It's great to be here. We've got a great week going. Everybody's talking about how wonderful the show is this year. SEMA is a volunteer association. We have a great staff but without the volunteers to support the staff, none of this would be possible. So really? from the very beginning, it's a team effort. Great staff, great staff. Terrific staff, uh, all over the world. But still, you, you go to the office, and great offices and great staff, but you look at how much the impact this organization has. I think the unique thing about this is it is becoming a truly global event. This is the place to be in the first week of November yeah. for the entire automotive universe. And a good measurement of that is that 20% of our buyers this year are international buyers. So that's telling you that the world's eyes are right here on Las Vegas. 20%. 20%. Wow. We're becoming truly a global yeah. marketplace and a global yeah. industry. You had good news this morning. You spoke at the chapel. There's always a, yes, a chapel did. service, a prayer breakfast, if you yes. will. Part of being on this stage for this brief two-year two period as chairman, I think part of it is uh, to uh, to share my faith and it has served me well it got me here yeah. and and I think I would be remiss if I didn't give credit where credit is due congratulations thank you very much Barry. there's one guy that's the leader and Chris is the man and I have such respect for you stepping into this role how many four years ago five years now. five years ago yeah thank you for that uh, it's a great honor to be able to lead this bunch. And, and here we are so 2006 and yeah 40 years of this show. Back then, as today, the new products are really the, the heart of the, the show because that is where the innovation, that's where the passion, where the creativity all comes uh, out. And then, you know, we get this fantastic opportunity in our industry to see those products actually installed in the vehicle. Hot riders are never going to go away. I mean, you look yeah. at the hot rods and, and then the customs and the muscle cars here. The year of the muscle car, it's oh. perfect that we're we're highlighting muscle cars. This year. Really exciting. So, you know, you see this resurgence, and yet at the same time, there's still a lot of people who love the original vehicles as they came out. All those muscle cars from the muscle car era are doing just great. 
uh, the folks from our industry who are working in that sector are really having great times. And, uh, and then to see the vehicle manufacturers kind of catch this and bring out that Mustang and you know commit to this Challenger and this Camaro that yeah. are just beautiful. A lot of your viewers uh, look at the coverage from the show that you do and it's wonderful. Yeah. So now the media, you guys are the ones who bring it out. You bring all the wonderful well, stuff that's the trade happening here I mean, the, out the to the folks. You have to be trained to get here and you had all these millions of people wanting to come yeah. and can't get here. There's yeah. no way they can get in unless they have a close friend that happens to have a badge. That happens once in a while, but for the most part, they can't get in. So we need guys like you to take, 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 take it out to the world. From my heart, I can't thank you enough. Well, we can't thank you, you enough. So it's a, it's a great partnership that we have. And, uh, you know, yeah, off thanks. to a great show. And keep taking it out to the car crazy folks. We right? are. We are. <laughs> We have the ultimate spokesman, the, the best PR agent for tires, Coker Tires, and all things automotive, particularly at SEMA's show, the former chairman of SEMA, Corky Coker, my good buddy, person of the year for the car hobby a couple years back. Yep. And uh, What a place to be this week. Where yeah, in the world is. would you be but right here yeah, in Las Vegas it's, it's at the SEMA show? You've you picked a, a very unique way to come to SEMA this year. I did, I did. You know, we drove here, Barry, yes. in a 32 high boy, 2,000 miles. And you know why? Because I want to do what I say and say what I do. I'm, it's all about getting our cars out driving and driving cars. them, driving them. Drive these cars. You know, how often do we get a you know, collector car or a hot rod out in America, you know, when they were driving down the road, they go, oh man, get that off the road. No, they say, I love what you do, <laughs> Out, outstanding. That's and right. you know, with the advent of $5 a gallon gasoline or you know, the ozone layer, Al Gore and all that crazy stuff, <laughs> you know, quite honestly, the bureaucrats and politicians could say very easily, look, take them off the road. But not if America That's loves right. what we do and That's they right. see us on a regular right. basis, they would say, eh, not gonna That's do right. that. That's right, here we are today. Can you put it into words what we're seeing happening? You get to see this stuff by wonderful shows like carcrazycentral.com and you know and it's just important that you know we come together as an industry and in order to put this out so that you know our friends out there can see and and, and buy this stuff. We love our old cars and most of them wouldn't be running unless we had tires that match their genre and otherwise these cars are all be up in blocks. We have this guy to thank for it. Corky Coker Coker Tires, thank you, buddy. Back with more of our Car Crazy Friends right after this break. When we come back, we'll visit with more of the fascinating people here at the one and only SEMA Show. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Right here on Car Crazy. Welcome back to Las Vegas Convention Center, home of the world-famous SEMA Show. Two of my good buddies that are running Toyota, Jim Lentz, who in charge of all sales and marketing for, for Toyota, and Jim Farley, who is, they're both car guys. Jim Farley, actually, you're the hands eye. You're running this enormous marketing for, over, for Toyota, which is having some success. I would say we're that doing okay you guys are fairly We're hanging over. in there. And, yeah. uh, and uh, we were talking last year. Here's two American car guys. I mean, your car guys help people understand well, it's, you uh, know, who I, you are. I, I grew up in the Midwest. Um, I, I didn't know what an import car was until I was in college. Uh, you know, I, I, my parents were, were General Motors people, uh, uh, Buicks their entire lives. Jim, I, I remember this story about this car that you worked on. Or your, what was your? Oh my, your, with my grandfather. Your, your yeah. grandfather. You know, working on cars, and my first car was a was a Ford pickup truck. Um, three on the tree that I learned how to drive and then I f bought my first car was Ford and we're kind of a Ford family like yeah. most of us were kind of divided yeah. 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 one would not think looking at Toyota there's there's all these car guys right behind me because you guys are known for quality right. dependability right. Uh, gas mileage I mean you just build great cars part of the secret sauce of Toyota is they can put that passion for automobiles that you would normally find in a sports car or in an FJ Cruiser or and they bottle it into a Camry. And I know you guys are pulling for the domestics. You're, you're, sure you're hurting, you've talked to me in the Absolutely. side, Jim. You're yep. really sure. concerned for GM and Ford, Chrysler, and you, you want them to do better. I mean, it's it's important for everybody that everybody Absolutely. survives. Well, we're we're all in this deal together. We all share the same dealers. We share yeah. all the same suppliers and all of our plants. Yeah. So the health of the industry overall is really about everybody. Yeah, no, thanks for coming by, thanks. guys. Thanks again. Thank you, Barry. Keep up all the good stuff, all right? Thanks. Bye. 
hanging out with a super car. Can I? I can say that. Yes, you can. For you, I, can, I don't <laughs> doubt I can say that. Kim McCollum, who is corporate manager of marketing communications at yes. Toyota, and yeah. uh, doing all these cool things. And uh, I Very know lucky. when you first went to Toyota, you had some of your car guy friends said, "You're going to Toyota." <laughs> right. Okay. Right. I knew what was coming, so it was something? great to be a part of it. And all the launches that we went through last year, and FJ, I mean, really bringing some styling and passion to the brand. So it's a lot of fun to be here now. Yeah. We're at the uh, Palace Verdes Concours, this yes. wonderful event. And I walk out on the lawn <laughs> where they have the exhibition cars, you know, the really right. special cars. There's Kim. <laughs> Sit there yes. beaming away yeah. with your, your prized possession yes. there. Um, earlier this year, we imported uh, Renault Alpine from France, and uh, it was fantastic. We had the car six months, and we already were accepted at Quail to show the car, and then Palace Verdes. And uh, next year, we hope to run some rallies with it. So that's why it's so fun to be able to combine my passion and also my work. Well, we have the uh, editor from Super Street on here. Right. And he's talking about the cool things that happen. He says, now you have cards like the Yaris that yeah. you can get in really inexpensively. Yes. And trick out and, and do, do all these amazing things. Too. So, I mean, it, it's working. something for everybody. It <laughs> yeah, really is. Exactly, exactly. You guys are sharing passion with us. I know you like a lot of stuff we're doing over at Car Absolutely. Crazy. And you want Absolutely. You uh, encourage us to do that. So we appreciate yeah. your courage for along that line, too. Yes. So we're all yeah. Car Crazy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> When we come back, we'll discover the newest marketplace for the car industry and show you more from the 40th Annual SEMA Show. So stay tuned right here on McGuire's Car Crazy. Welcome back to Viva Las Vegas for one of the most diverse and incredible automotive events on the planet, the one and only SEMA Show. Welcome back to SEMA Television out here at our Car Crazy stage with the man, Peter McGillivray, who is oh, the head of marketing, the guy that just <laughs> orchestrates all this cool stuff, having so much fun and doing such a great job. And we're here because... You have a lot of friends at SEMA. In fact, uh, I was thinking, why do we need a PR agency? We have Barry McGuire. Um, <laughs> well, I, I like to us. think I'm an extension of your PR. <laughs> you sure are. Okay. We are so grateful that we have millions of enthusiasts out there. There's 2,000 companies that are exhibiting here at the show this year. Of those 2,000, there are 500 that are here for the very first time. And when you think no, about what it yeah. takes to, to be a part of this show, for them to make that sacrifice yeah. and that investment, it's exciting. It's very flattering for all of us that uh, that work on the show because the payoff is, it, is. it eclipses everything. It is fantastic. He is Peter McGilvery, head of marketing for this incredible event they're all enjoying today. Thank you, Peter. No, thank You're you, awesome. Barry. You really are. No, thank we you for all you it. do for us and for the industry. <laughs> Catching up with Steve Haas here, senior manager for collector cars for eBay Motors. You guys. The impact you're having on the car hobby. Yes. Yeah, it's really amazing to see. We're now selling a car every minute on eBay Motors. It's uh, a and car it, a minute. Okay. A car a minute. And the reason we're here at SEMA really is to talk to the folks selling parts and accessories. <laughs> and we sell a part or accessory every second now on eBay Motors. Every, every second. second. Pretty amazing. And I, I do know this part. One out of four cars you sell is a collector car. That's right. Yeah. Guys, so we really started so, with the rare and collector cars. So you cars. sold something like two million cars. Yeah. In May, we had the two millionth car sell through the eBay Motors site. Unbelievable. At the top, the vanguard of eBay yeah. Motors, you have 12 guys. Every mm -hmm. single one of you guys are gearheads. Yeah. And, and yeah. Enjoying the passion of the weekends and coming back and working all this stuff. It's really yeah. And we're the only guys in the world who don't get in trouble for surfing eBay all day at work. <laughs> that's, that's right. It's a lot exactly of fun. Right. He is Steve Haas, senior manager for Collector Cars, at eBay Motors. Steve, love Great what you do. You. Keep it going. Well, it's time to see how car crazy you are. What automobile did the family of Elvis Presley drive when they moved from Tupelo, Mississippi, to Memphis, Tennessee? Was it a 1932 Ford pickup truck? A 1937 Chevrolet, a 1937 Cord, or a 1939 Plymouth? How about it, all you hound dogs? Think you know this one? Oh, we'll find out a little later in the show. Don't go anywhere. When we come back, we'll drive into the hearts and minds of a couple next-generation car guys and chat with a few of their legendary forerunners. So you don't want to miss this. You can only find it right here on Car Crazy. Welcome back to McGuire's Car Crazy Central. Coming to you from the event that attracts more than 100,000 of the industry's top car guys, the one and only SEMA Show. Welcome back to SEMA Television out here at our Car Crazy stage with two of my car craziest friends. They're a little bit younger than me, but we've <laughs> hung out a lot. B.J. Burtwell, head of uh, urban youth marketing for Mopar and 
do a, a, all that tunnel. That was your idea. We have the best cars, Mopar Alley. What we did this year in Mopar <laughs> Alley is we took the old school cars uh -huh. with all new school stuff on them. So you're walking through the alley and all you see are restified Mopars all the way through. Then you get to the SRT area and you have SRT, all the SRT products, you know, the Vipers, the SRT8 chargers. All that great it's product. Mind -boggling. It's mind-boggling. It's it fantastic. Really is. Time You're having a lot of fun. SEMA, there's nothing beats SEMA. It's yeah. the greatest. Sean Carlson with the president of New Ford's Racing. And so if I want to know what's going on in trends for the youth market, I mean, where are we going as trends? First, first race, let's get to you right quick, Sean. Drifting, drifting, drifting is getting drifting. bigger and bigger. Isn't it? it definitely is. You know, as drifting began in, in basically Tokyo, and how everyone here, usually the, the youth out here in California, always kind of follows the trends in uh -huh. uh, Japan. But, you know, the next possible thing to be the, the next biggest thing was drifting. We're around a lot of kids and there's a lot of hope. I mean, these kids today are, they're entrepreneurs at heart and very ambitious, so yeah. I'm, I'm hopeful. That's within your world. We need yeah. to get your world spread more. I mean, we're doing a huge group from, from Mopar and the passion, whatever, but talking on the personal side, just so what your core values are, what you, what you believe in, and getting that out to young people today is really an important thing to do. Yeah. So. Sean Carlson, president of New Forge Racing. B.J. Burtwell, my good buddy, all, lifetime good buddy. That's I mean, all of what you've done, B.J., really. <laughs> Steve Celine and Bruce Meyer, of course, Steve of racing fame and now all these extravaganza cars that you're bringing out and bruce meyer kind of the ultimate car guy ultimate networker for the hobby and now you're on steve's board and you know so all i hear is celine 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 all the time i particularly admire what steve does and he just built me a new extreme mustang that uh, to my specs and to his craftsmanship and i'll tell you i i've never had so much fun in a car it's the extreme mustang bruce has added a whole dimension to our whole company that we really have not had before. The other day, as we're walking around, we're, we're, we're seeing on the S7 and the, the NASA type technology and the, the, the lightweightness yeah, of it. Yeah, you it know? Weighs, we're talking ounces, yeah. and yet it's it's literally stronger than steel. And, and, and I see out here at SEMA, they have a Celine Mustang kind of like pimp my ride. Yeah. And what do you think of that? Here you are taking the you know, the Mustang to its highest design form, and then somebody else takes yours to the <laughs> beyond. I think over the top. That's okay. But yeah, well, that, that, that's great. It's mean, that, a high and, compliment. Yeah, it isn't, and that's what's so nice about the SEMA show, is that you, there's something for everyone here. So you got that's Bobby Entry waving at us from the hey, back here. Hey, Bobby. Just <laughs> if you can find him a microphone, have him come up. Okay. Okay, we'll see what we got him on mic and Bobby can say hi right now. Yeah. yeah. What does he know about racing? Ah, uh, you know. How you doing? All right. I can't that. let you walk by without bringing you on stage. Yeah. This, is, hi, hi, this, is our last, yeah. this is our last interview for the day. We, had, we, had a, we just got to pull you on board. Well, you got a I bonus. Do that. I, I just came by friends. to say hi. She and I had a rotocuff operation. Okay. And I and I planned it. The SEMA show time. That was kind of dumb. Yeah. You know? <laughs> You're always at this show, hanging out, seeing yeah. people, so signing autographs. Yeah, this is the place to go this time of the year. The weather is great. And where can you? You see so many nice cars. Yeah. What's new? What, what what projects? Anything you're working on? I still do a little bit of accident reconstruction and on litigation work, and so I'm busy all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah. That's worked out pretty well for you. Yeah, worked out really good. How it's would you like to, to be in a case and have Bobby Unzer came to be the expert witness against you? <laughs> I don't think I like that. Yeah, I don't I think he knows too much. The yeah. judge, can you see the judge? Yeah. Well, really? Really? Yeah. I like both. And I gotta tell you, as if that's not enough, if you're in Orange County, California, anytime, go to the Spectrum, the store, the store, the Celine store. You Prize can go in and win. buy any Celine car you want. You have to deliver to whatever dealership you're at near across the country. But you go and talk to the real guys they can get the coolest drive stuff. the car. It is such a cool place. That, and even really have cool. a nitrous bar. Steve <laughs> Slane. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, so. Even a nitrous bar so you can really get yourself going. <laughs> yeah. Bobby Unser, we love you. We've had you on. So all these guys are on carcrazycenter.com. We've captured all these guys through the years. Great to have our car crazy friends with us. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Barry. Up. When we come back, we'll find out what automobile the family of Elvis Presley drove when they moved from Tupelo, Mississippi to Memphis, Tennessee. So don't go away. We'll be right back, right here on Car Crazy. So what automobile did the family of Elvis Presley drive when they moved from Tupelo, Mississippi to Memphis, Tennessee? Well, according to TupeloAutoMuseum.com, the Tupelo Automobile Museum owns a 1939 Plymouth, the same model driven by the Presley family when they moved from Tupelo to Memphis. 
This car is on permanent loan to the Elvis Presley Birthplace and Museum in Tupelo, Mississippi. <laughs> and if you knew this hunk of burning bit of car trivia, oh, you must be car crazy. And now, once again, Barry McGuire. This is our favorite time of the show when we get to read your car crazy confessions. This one comes from Jim Merriman. He says, Dear Car Crazy, I started watching your show in the hospital about three years ago while staying with my parents. Both of my parents have AML or acute myeloid leukemia. I mean, what are the odds of that? I lost dad on his birthday, August 31, 2006. Mom is very ill, but we're getting by with the help of many good friends and the man upstairs. I just wanted to let you know that this show gave me just a minute every week where I could not be with my dying parents, but take my mind to a better place where I could get some relief. I've had to quit my job at 23 years to take care of my parents and feel that all car guys and gals would honor their parents this way also. There are weeks we don't eat every day or pay the bills on time, but I always have time to work on my truck or my wife's car. I am a car guy. I own a 2003 Chevy Avalanche that I've installed many play toys onto. I will someday receive my mother's 2003 CTS, which I will keep forever. Just a word to let you guys know that your hard work helps people in the real world also. Thank you for listening to my story, and please value your family. You never know when they'll be called home. I love your show. Keep the medicine coming. God bless. Jim Merriman. Well, thank you, Jim, for your heartwarming letter. Sounds like we need to encourage every hospital to provide car-crazy therapy for their patients. If I hear you correctly, you're thanking God, your friends, and your love for cars for getting you through the difficult days. And that's a powerful combination. It's interesting how difficult it is for our non-car guy friends to understand why we like to work on our cars. They see it as work. We see it as therapy. And one of the most rewarding parts of doing what I do is the flow of mail we get from car guys all over America who receive inspiration from this show during the tough times of their lives. I can't tell you how good that makes us feel. And your admonition to value our family members every day is a powerful one coming from you at this moment when you're losing your parents. I tell you what, I promise you, we will keep the medicine flowing and do our best to make everyone to you just a little bit more car crazy. Hey, check this out. The SEMA Show, the largest and most prestigious automotive aftermarket trade show in the world, is now open to CarCrazyCentral.com visitors. Car Crazy Central is bringing you all of the excitement and breaking news each day with our eight teams of cameras and journalist coverage. Plus, Barry McGuire will be on stage interviewing top celebrities for both CarCrazyCentral.com and SEMA Television. To catch all of the action, check out the SEMA Insider on carcrazycentral.com.